So you've arrived at the Sunrise Drive carriage house. Please park in front of the leftmost garage door. Our cars are behind the other two, so that'll allow us to get in and out. You'll see the stairs to the far left. Just take these stairs up to the landing by the front door. We have an electronic door lock. You'll see the word Schlag at the top. If you've arrived and it's a little dark, hit the word Schlag and it'll light up the keypad for entering your passcode. The passcode is the last four digits of the phone number on the Airbnb account that made the reservation, presumably your phone number. When locking, just pull the door towards you using the handles not perfectly aligned and hit the word Schlag and that'll lock it up. I've noticed on occasion it'll get bulky at being locked up. Just go through the unlock procedure, pull the door shut, and hit lock again, and that should work. When you get in, you'll see that we have white carpet pretty much throughout the apartment, so we do ask our guests to take their shoes off while inside. In the corner here, you'll find a shoe bench and a rubber pad that you can use to sit down and put on and remove shoes. And for additional information, you'll find some laminated sheets here right by the sofa. For the internet, just look for the Sunrise Drive guest uh, login, and your password is connect me now, all in small case. You'll also find that information on the laminated sheet. We don't have cable TV or satellite TV, but if you hit the live TV button on the TV, that will give you over-the-air programming coming out of the Seattle area. You'll also see there is Netflix, Prime, and Hulu accounts. Simply use your own logins. Uh, it's set to erase anything you put in on at noon on the day you check out. If it's cool in the evening, uh, you, you'll find a throw in the second basket under the TV. And this is the uh, antenna for the live TV. Uh, so don't remove that, thanks. We do provide a Google Now. You can talk to it, get weather, or ask it to play radio stations or music. Um, if that bothers you, then there's a Google Now device, simply unplug it. But do not plug this device, unplug the device that's on top of the refrigerator that is the uh, router giving you internet. Now for some information about the kitchen. You'll find here is some breakfast bars, oatmeal, some tea, and a Keurig coffee machine, and a hot water pot uh, that boils water almost instantly. And in the left drawer you'll find uh, Keurig coffee pods, uh, some half and half, and sugar and sweetener. We don't have a hood and, and fan over the stove, so uh, think about that as you decide what to cook here. In the drawers by the oven, you'll find all the plates, bowls, and cups and mugs. You'll find some cooking utensils on the counter as long as some basic, along with some basic spices and the toaster oven and microwave. Underneath the toaster oven is a cover that you'll find pots, pans, and other cooking supplies. The uh, house is on a septic system, so we can't put anything down the, the sink. There is no garbage disposal, any food waste. Just put it into the plastic bag and the plastic container sitting on the counter. Throw that off, out as often as you like, and you'll find additional plastic bags under the sink. The refrigerator is stocked with flavored seltzer water and flat water. Uh, that's for your consumption. There are three thermostats. There's one in the bedroom if you just want to heat that room. This one in the living area, and there's one in the bathroom uh, to get that warm, safe before a shower. Uh, they work just like regular thermostats. They're just zoned. In the bedroom, you'll find uh, a place to connect USB cords on either side of the bed along with reading lights. And in the closet, you'll find some hanging shelves and uh, if you have to work while you're here, our condolences. You'll find a four-foot desk and a couple chairs. That desk fits perfectly in front of the large window in the living area, and you can either use it for sitting or standing. It'll go to different heights. Um, but again, hopefully you're not here to work.